Hi, it's Panda Movies here. Today, I'm going to explain the movie called The Road. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. Enjoy the video. After an unnamed occurrence causes what appears to be an extinction disaster, a man and his young son strive to survive. They forage for supplies and evade gangs as they journey to the coast in the hope of finding a milder climate. Years before, just after the disaster, the man's wife gives birth to their kid, and she progressively loses hope. She accuses the man of wasting a bullet purposely to prevent her suicide when he shoots an intruder with one of three bullets they have stored for their family as a last resort. She wanders into the woods, removing her coat and cap in the bitter cold, never to be seen again. In the present, the man has only one bullet left after shooting a member of a cannibal gang who happens to stumble across them. Later, while exploring a mansion, he and the boy discover individuals imprisoned as food for their captors in the basement. The guy and his son flee when the armed cannibals return. With the threat of being discovered, the dad prepares to shoot his kid, but the cannibals are distracted by the escaping hostages, and they depart. The dad and boy uncover an underground bunker with canned food and supplies further down the path. They bathe and feast. The man believes it is too hazardous to stay when they hear noises above them, including a dog, and they leave. The son persuades him to share lunch with a near-blind old man further down the road. The guy leaves the youngster to protect their belongings at the shore as he swims out to plunder a beached ship. When the boy falls asleep, their belongings are taken. The man pursues the robber and seizes all he possesses, even his clothes. This infuriates the youngster to the point where the man returns and leaves the clothes and a can of food for the thief. The man is hit in the leg with an arrow as they pass through a devastated town. He uses a flare rifle he discovered aboard the ship to kill his ambusher, and discovers the archer's female companion in the same room. The man believes the archer and woman were following them, but she swears the opposite is true. He abandons her to her grief over the body. The dad and boy, exhausted, abandon their cart and most of their belongings. The man's condition worsens, and he eventually passes away. A man with his wife, two children, and dog approaches the lad. The boy's father and his wife had been following them for some time, and the wife explained that they were concerned about him. The father convinces the boy he is one of the good guys and takes him under his protection.